The words of Luke in his passage on the Annunciation are familiar to us all. This familiarity can be comforting, but we must also guard against a familiarity that breeds indifference, a lack of attentiveness, a familiarity which causes us to become unreceptive. For the word of God to penetrate our hearts and take life, we must be humble and attentive. We must listen. For Mary, the events of the Annunciation were all too visible, too shocking to ignore. We read in Luke that upon being visited by the greatest of the angels, Gabriel, and upon hearing his greeting, she was deeply disturbed. And who wouldn't be? Here, Mary was asked if she would give God a human nature. This truly awesome request was no doubt one which greatly shocked and disturbed Mary. How was she, who had not known man, to be with child, a child such as this? For there to be any new life, there must be love. And yet, this love was to be like no other. Mary, full of the Holy Spirit, that divine love overflowing inside of her, could slowly begin to understand the enormity of this request. Mary, though unique in her sinless nature, was still human. She, like us, could choose her path. In her attentiveness to God's word, in her humility, she uttered the words that would cause in her the redemption of the world to be assured. Let it be done to me according to thy word. Such a simple phrase, the Latin fiat, renders it simpler still. And yet, in these humble words, her true fulfilment and that of mankind lay. For us too, our ultimate fulfilment lies in saying yes to God. We may not be visited by the angels, but we are filled from baptism with the grace of the Holy Spirit, and we are nourished by the sacraments and God's word in Scripture. But how attentive to the word of God, how open to his grace are we? From an early age, we learn to shelter ourselves, protect ourselves from perceived threats. We try to build lives that will insulate us from harm. It's only natural. We can see change in our lives as a menace, something that will bring our whole carefully worked out plans to nothing. The injuries and disappointments of the past often serve only to make us yet more inward-looking, less attentive, less open, and pride can well up in all its stubbornness. We have to strive for an openness to God's word that can only be born of humility, and in turn, the more receptive we are to God's grace, the humbler we shall become. Like Mary, we have to trust and humbly submit. We have to recognise that though our lives may be turned upside down, by saying yes, in freely choosing to follow God's call, we will find our ultimate place in God's plan and our true fulfilment.